you've written on your blog a lot about a sense of worthiness. And you have written songs about it, you sing about it, you have sung about it for years, about this loving myself, loving myself, loving myself. And we talked about how, in many cases, that was affirmation for you, because something inside you knew that you were supposed to, but you were reaching for it and have now evolved to that space, the difference between wanting to love yourself and truly loving yourself. What does that feel, feel like? I want to tell you what my turning point was. Mm -hmm. The top of 2012 came and I started having other health issues that were showing up on my skin. And it was, it started out just like a little bit of rashiness here and there. And by March of 2012, it was every inch of my face was covered in rashes, rashes, big rashes, and then bumps all over. It was almost like I aged, you know, like how we see a visual. Yeah. It wasn't wrinkles like that, but like that visual aging. It was like I aged 50 years. One day I woke up and it was broken out and then it just kept breaking out. And I was still moving forward with the album and trying to finish it and forcing it. I was forcing it. Yeah. Were you and going to skin doctors? Were people trying to I tell was kind of going to skin doctors and then the stuff would hurt worse than it helped. And then it would make the stuff go away, but it would all come back in two weeks. And I was trying everything. And then I went, got allergy tested and I realized that I had, all your stuff is coming out. All of your my skin. stuff is coming out of my skin. I mean, I realize now that people go through much worse things. And I know that and I knew it at the time, but I thought maybe I could have a serious illness. And I flew to my favorite place in the world, which is Hawaii. And I was there for two or three weeks or whatever. And I ended up going to this, someone wanted to take me to see a volcano. And I was standing there and we're looking at the volcano. And it was, you know, Hawaii is magnificently beautiful. Yeah. So I was seeing the water and the volcano and watching the smoke and everything come out. And I was taking it all in and what I understood in that moment was what I, what I had read about and what I understood intellectually, but that all things are interconnected. And then it was kind of like, yes, everything is interconnected and you too. And everything is always in divine order and even your skin and even the stuff you're going through. It's, it, it, I realize this sounds really simple, but it was like, everything's always going to be okay. That's how it felt. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I felt the volcano and I felt this thing. And, but we got down to the to our car and then down to like a little bathroom stop and I went and I looked in the mirror and my skin was the worst. It was the worst it had ever been. And I started to get mad. I was like, after all this that I've been trying and I barely even eat anything that I like to eat. And you know, and then I felt this calm. It was like a man, I wish I had better words. I felt the sense of calm. It was in this in that moment that I understood that there was what I felt felt like I was planted with a seed of trust. Like, cause I, I, I mean, I believe in God and I trust that life is gonna unfold, but it was different. It was like this place of trust that nothing can harm or shake. Like a, and I didn't have it before cause you know, things would move me and, mm -hmm. to the point that I would be sad about something and my face That's would so break out. That's so interesting cause I thought you were gonna say, I came down from the mountain and then I went and I looked in the mirror and my skin was clear. No. No. It was the worst that it ever been. It was been. the worst that it ever but been. But I didn't react emotionally. It was just like, and I remember catching myself and being like, I feel okay with this. I mean, I don't want it, but I, it's not making me feel like, why God? Like I want to shout, you know, at God, it just made me feel like, okay. So you accepted it. I accepted it. You accepted, accepted it and it. surrendered to that. And I, I accepted and surrendered. Yeah. But when I went home that same day, yeah. I got off the plane and it was clear. Hallelujah. And I just... I feel like that surrender. When, and the and reason I said that, the reason I asked the question about acceptance and surrender is because that's one of the biggest lessons I've ever learned in life. The moment you say, whatever, thy will, as you see it, God, I'm with you. I'll do thy will be done, not my will. That's the moment things move. Things move. Things move. That's the moment things move. You unblock me. it. You unblock. That was and the biggest the blessings lesson I flow. learned.